Okay, so I'd like to give a little instruction on how to put the bench together. Otherwise, it could be one of those mind-bending puzzles and uh, make it very difficult to get together. So, um, <clears throat> just real quick, here's the, uh, the two legs for the back. And here's the apron. Uh, over here, I've got the legs, the other parts, which I'll show as I put it, go along. But first, the idea is to uh, see it says top, meaning up. So this is going to be sitting here. And what we do is we want to put this left leg in first. Now what we do is just slide it in there. You'll see that the, uh, the table anchor bolt is, the leg bolt is uh, right there. Put a washer on, a nut, and tighten snugly. Maybe not completely tight yet, just get it uh, somewhat snug. I know you can't see this, but you will on the next one see, see it. Now on this one, um, we don't want to slide it in there yet because we want to get these slats in. These are the back slats, and they're, they're, they're two pieces of wood glued together, so you can pick and choose what you'd feel like to have on the outside. I like the uh, lighter color, which is, these are all the lighter color sides. So, what you do is, actually, let's, we're going to put it into this side. Slide that one in. This one, I'm going to try to do this kind of fast so you don't get bored. Slide it in. That's the lighter side, which I like. <clears throat> and then we do is slide it over. You might want to assemble this on a bench like this with soft material like this, these blankets, or now I just started it inside the hole or on the carpet, something like that. Now I, I lined up that hole with the bolt a little bit. And now these are lining up where their holes. So I start to slightly, each one, slide it in. Don't worry about it coming out of this end because it'll go back in. Okay, this one's a little tighter. There it is. Now they're all lined up. So now I'm going to start to uh, bring it together like that. In fact, I'll even stand it up now and then go like this. There's the bolt. <clears throat> has come through and now I'm going to grab the other washer and nut and then tighten that on here just snug nothing too crazy now same thing with these legs these don't have to go in any certain kind of order they can be put on like this. Of course, this is the left one, left front. You might want to just see if it's level, somewhat level there. Uh, it should line up pretty well. Now I got the other washer nut. Now the right leg. And uh, I'm not left-handed, so it might be a little more difficult, but. Should be able to do it. Okay, so that's tightened up. Get that some weave in there. And let me. Uh, by the way, this is the only. This is uh, actually you'll need one more tool. I meant to put that out here. Is the uh, Phillips head screwdriver, which I will get now. Now that's together, and now. What we're going to do is I'm going to go over here and grab, this is the small seat side, and here's the, uh, the three slats. Now what you want to do is put the slats in. Again, uh, I guess there's one side lighter or darker than the other. Put those in, and as you can see, these are called dominoes, by the way, tenons. Here's the mortises. These are the tenons. So I'll just line them up. 
line up the bottom one, snap the uh, the slats first. Get that. I got that front one in, and then do the same thing like we did up here. I slid these half slightly in, and now push it all the way. Like that doesn't matter. It doesn't. It's not going to hurt anything if you give it a little pressure. Okay, with this, uh, I have the uh, Phillips head screwdriver here now. And uh, what you want to do right here, there's two holes. And this will attach and secure the small seat to the big one. These are two-inch screws, like I said. Let me show you. These are the two-inch. They're a Phillips head tip. You know, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could use one of these. you got to be careful not to over-torque it. So in fact, I'm just, I'm not even going to go all the way in. I'm just going to, just getting them started. And then I'll come in here. Now, like I say, don't over torque them. In other words, um, just get it snug. You'll feel once it starts to get hard and the gap has closed up. Okay, so now we got that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip ahead here, but I'm going to screw in these, these are called tabletop fasteners. They're figure eights. You want to put these in. Now, there's a beveled edge here that uh, you want to put up. So look for that, that tapered edge to put the one inch screws in. These are longer. I've got some other ones that are five eighths. As you can see, this is the five eighths, this is the one inch. So I'm putting those in with the one inch. Okay, so I have all these figure eights put in. There's three on, on the, the taller bench. Make sure they're straight, perpendicular to this apron. And, uh, and then, this is where we tighten this up a little bit better. These are the leg bolts. Again, just get them snug. You could park a car on this. This will hold an adult easily, even if they stood on it. But I'm just, I'm just snugging this up with this crescent wrench. There we go. Okay, so that's snugged up. Next thing, I'm done with that wrench. Put it on its back. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's do it like this. <clears throat> Let's set this here. Now, you know what? Let's just put this in. This one slides in here. You got to kind of shoehorn it in there like that the uh that piece goes there what, what i think i'll do is is go ahead and screw that one on with these five eighths inch screws now i just screw the other end the other side of the of the figure eight now like i said you can use you can use just this in fact i'd suggest it by is snugging it up so you don't over tighten it and strip out the wood. Now, let's grab the second top. Slide that in, slide that in. It goes underneath this little lip here of the, uh, the backrest. Now, same thing. Grab your screws. Start with the middle one here. There's already holes there, obviously, because I'm screwing this in. It should line up just perfectly. If they're not lining up, there might be something else wrong. So anyways, let's put in the last two. That one and this one. Okay. Now, that's not quite it. One more thing, and that is the shelf. No. Um, you got to find the front on this thing. I wrote on it. There it is. It says front right here. So look for that underneath. And then uh, slide this through here like that. Go up with it like this. And then just drop it right in like that. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.